Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are drafting players that have only played for one team in their NHL career. Obviously, the roster update has not happened yet. I'm recording this March 2nd, it's gonna come out after the fact, much after, but Timo Meyer no longer a shark. And at the time I'm recording this, Carlson's still there, but I don't know, I feel like he might get moved. Let's find out what team we're gonna be using. It is the Florida Panthers. Once again, I feel like we're just cycling between the same few teams here. Maybe I should start randomizing from here again. We'll see. You know what, owner? Congratulations. You've just been promoted to Jabroni as well. So now we have to turn off two Jabroni settings. Fog of War, absolutely not. Fantasy Draft, yes please. Play around. no. And Computer Trades, yeah, we can also trade at the deadline. If there's any players, of course, that have only played for one team, they are eligible to be acquired by your Florida Panthers. Your Florida Panthers, if you will. Stars only, don't send me rubbish. And let's go ahead, start the careers, make sure fantasy draft on, we're all good. Pick number, pick number 11, there we go. I almost panicked, I didn't get anything out. I was halfway there. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do that they've only played for one team. So if they were drafted by another team, traded, and then played for that team, so Fox would be an example of that. Or should I do that they're playing for the team that drafted them? You know, they just stuck it out the entire time, haven't gone anywhere. Paige Thompson is actually not eligible for this draft, but Robertson is. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop him up to be our first line left winger, and hopefully our main goal scorer. Whoever was telling me to take Nylander in more drafts, this one's for you. Will Nye the hockey guy is gonna be playing with Robertson, now, should I get a center or should we grab defenseman? See, I'm not sure if Kuznetsov is on the chopping block or not, if he might get traded, but he hasn't yet. And kind of feel like he won't. We'll see, though. He's only played for the Capitals, drafted by them. He's a center playmaker. It is a perfect fit. So I will go ahead and draft him. Making these types of videos around the trade deadline is always so tricky because players move so fast, you know? They could be traded today, later today, for all I know. See, Jared Spurgeon was drafted by the Islanders, but he's only ever professionally played for the Minnesota Wild. Now, I'm gonna go with their draft team, I think. I, have I broken that already? Brett Pesci has been a cane his entire professional career. He's 86 overall and only making four. So that is a wonderful start to our defensive core. We're not gonna have defensive superstar back there, but hopefully we can at least put together a pretty solid unit. Essa Lindell, much like Jason Robertson, has only played for the Stars, and they were both drafted by Dallas as well. So there you go. We got our first defensive pair, first line, starting goalie, and to be honest, I don't think we're gonna be good. <laughs> David Krejci, that's my boy. 100% you're joining the team immediately. We actually have less options than I thought. Everyone up here has been moved at some point. I will go with Anders Lee, who has been a lifetime Islander. Rust has been exclusively a pity pen. So our second line is now complete. I feel like I should get that second defensive pair going as well. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think of this, but getting a backup goalie that's only played for one team might actually be difficult. Orlov would have been great. I'm so sad that he got traded, but... I, you know what? It had to happen. And he's lighting it up for the Bruins, so I'm happy for the guy. Guys, we might actually be in trouble here. Scott Mayfield saved us here a little bit. Defensive defenseman for the second pair. Ooh. I already don't think this team is making the playoffs. Another right-handed defenseman. We're gonna struggle to finish up this defensive core. See, DeSmith has really only played for the Penguins, but they didn't draft him. So, I... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing with this video. Is it they're still playing for their draft team or is it they've only played for one professional team? I'll stick with the draft thing, just in case. The man has played a grand total of seven NHL games. And he is joining our team. Teddy Bluger would have been an option had he not just been traded to the Golden Knights. Brandon Gallagher, thank you. Finally, somebody who still plays for their draft team. He's making 6.5, but... We got the room, so you're joining our team. Thank you for your service. Another lifetime Islander, 81 overall, making 5 million. But our options are extremely limited, so Bailey is going to be thanked <laughs> for only playing for one team. Let's go, Jakey. 80 overall, one number off of being the best jersey number there is. 
and we just found ourselves another centerman. All right, Miles, I see you. 3.2 is not the greatest contract in the game. However, I must once again point out that we are coming all the way down to 80 overalls when there's still like 83 and 84 is less. So we'll take any player we can get at this point. Another centerman, another somewhat unreasonably large contract. My hands are tied here though. What do you want me to do? We have 10 million left and we have to sign a forward and two defensemen. So you know what actually? It could be worse. He shoots left. What a legend. 79 overall Bryson making 1.8 is joining your Florida Panthers and now we just need one more defenseman and they also have to be left. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Sebastian Ajo. Can't believe he's going this late in the draft. Huh? And then there was one. Even this guy's been traded. What are we doing? Thank you, Wade. You are now a legend in my books. We have a lot of cap space left, which means we could maybe have some trade deadline fun. But we'll see who's available and whatnot. Our team is completed just like that. Looking at this roster, I don't believe this draft was the one. I hope with all my heart they prove me wrong, but let's go ahead, jump into the edit line screen and see what we have. Can we at least have decent chemistry? Yes, we do. Plus five. Love to see that defensively. Ooh, okay. All right, plus two on that last pair. And in net, we got Jari backed up by Wall. Hmm. I just found something crazy. They're both 79 overall, but check this out. Oh. Are you kidding me? Send down the players that I didn't draft just in case. There you go. I doubt we're gonna have to re-edit the lines because I don't think they were in there anyway, but we got a plus five on the first line with Kuzi, Nylander, and Robertson. Anders Lee, Krejci, and Ross as our second line. It's a very good second line. Don't get me wrong. They might not be an offensive second line, but they will certainly not allow a lot of goals. Maybe not the most solid third line in the world. This fourth line is good, and they get a bump from having that plus one, which is massive power forward and two two-way forwards, so they'll probably gel together quite nicely. Defensively, we've got Lindell and Pesci. I'll take zero. It's better than being in the negatives. Mayfield with Bryson gets a plus two, and then Seb and Andrew also get a plus two. Jari and Nett. What do I think about this team? Two playmakers to set up Robertson, who's the sniper. Robertson's gonna have the most points. I'll say he gets 78. I don't think we're gonna have a point a game player on this team. Maybe, but my personal opinion right now is we will not. I'm gonna say 42 wins, and you know what? I think we will make the playoffs. All right, well, uh, not a great start to the year. A 7-1-L and a 7-3-L. Maybe we're just bad, actually, and I was originally correct, but I backtracked it, so I gotta stick with the 42 wins now, and wow. Winning a bunch of games all of a sudden. I did say 42, right? I'm not going crazy. And another rough patch brings us right back down in sixth in the division. Oh, no. Cheeky little four game- five game wins- six? Seven? Eight games in a row. Only to lose 4 nothing to the Kenegen, but it does not matter. We're out for a rip right now. This is ridiculous. Holy- yo, calm down! We're getting shootout and overtime losses as well, which is huge. They add up. It's only one point, but, you know, you get two of those and all of a sudden you have a win. I'm gonna set us to a buyer. Let's enter the deadline and see who is available. Wow. I'm gonna say there's next to no shot we can make a trade for Pasta. Yeah, his trade value is literally full. They don't want Jason. The trade value is not even close. It's not gonna happen, unfortunately, but that would have been sick. And other than Pasta, there's not really any players we could go after. So I think we're just gonna have to run it how we have it. This is usually the part that kills us, but hopefully it will instead make us. I feel like our record isn't that bad for us to be fifth in the division. Our division must be ridiculous. And looking at the other divisions, I believe I can confirm that statement. 43 wins already. So we're way better than I thought we were. Let's go, what a big year. Playoff bound after an 8-1-L to the Carolina Hurricanes to end the year. But I don't care. I do not ask me. No, 
The answer is no. 7-2-1 to close out the year as well. We ended up getting third in the division with 100 points even. In the entire league, we finished fifth. So once again, that goes to show you how close our division really was. The Boston Bruins had Jack playing with Brady and Patty. All right, Gibson and Nett with Craig Anderson, the legend himself, backing him up. They have a pretty good team. Andrew Cogliano on the second line with Bennett and Milano. How did this team finish first in the league? They're very good defensively. Shabbat and Dumba. Then they've got Chikrin on the second line there. Ty Smith as well. So yeah, they got a good defensive core, but I still don't understand how they won the President's Trophy. I also don't understand why I struggle to speak. But that is just a commonality at this point. It's just another way to tell if it's an authentic Man of the Rit video, you know? I mess something up or I say something that doesn't make any sense. What happened here? They have Barzell, Everly, and Philip Forsberg, so that first line could get them by. Defensively, they got Gerard and Fox. Yeah, I guess I kind of understand why they didn't do so well. 73 from both of them. Robertson and Nylander. Krejci had 66. What are you doing, Koozie? That's all right. We did well. I'm not going to be upset about the number of points. 32 goals from Jason, and we got 28 from David. This guy's an absolute unit. See, this is why I draft him every time. Remember when I said that second line wasn't going to be a goal-scoring second line? Well, David once again proves me wrong by getting eight more points than a first liner. Oh, Jari, you're kidding me. What is that? You beautiful man. Five shutouts, a 923 save percentage, and let's not look over Joseph here. What is that, Curtis? 9-2-2 two two with two shutouts and a 9-13. That exceeds backup expectations. And he was 78 overall. Wow, there was four goalies that tied with 38 wins. And then we've got a trio with 37 as well. But look at this, 9-31 from Spencer. 87 overall, yeah, I think so. Josh Morrissey, you know. 73 points, the only defenseman to surpass 70. Charlie Mack got a nice amount of points. Rasmus was 65. Kale had 64 this year. Once again, no forwards exceeded the 100 mark. That happens quite a bit in these simulations. Patty Kane put up 98 though. 41 goals. 48 goals from Ovi. Looks like he won the Rocket Richard. And he had 96 total points. He would, in fact, win the Rocket Richard. Austin Matthews on Montreal. That's going to trigger some people. Darren Helm just doesn't lose draws. 81.3. To be fair, he only took 16. But look at Claude Giroux. Guy took 2,600 and had a 59.1. Maybe we should start drafting Claude. Takeaways was led by Nikita. 156. Lindholm had 151. And let's check fights. Just because we can. Tanner scrapping anybody and everybody. I really want to know when he gets drafted. Obviously, we can't tell from here. But I want to know around what round to look for this guy. Here's your initial playoff tree and let's go. Let's go. It's playoff time. The Sens had one more W than us. I don't think there's going to be a sweep. However, if there is one, it's in our favor. Nope. It is a best of three. I'll sim one game. I was going to be confident, but oh, good thing I wasn't. Let's go, Cats. Come on here. We need a huge game. We have one shot, and there is seven minutes remaining in the first period. That is an issue. All right, never mind. You just shut me up real quick. Anders just swept that under the rug and was like, what, a coach, I don't see a problem here. And you know what? He's right. Me neither. Still a one-goal lead. We actually somehow pulled ahead in shots for a second there. It is tied, shots-wise, not score-wise, thankfully. Mayfield buries one. We have a two-goal lead heading into period number three. Now, can we hold them off and push a game seven? That is the real cue of the day. Let's go! Will Nye, the power play guy, is going to put us up by three. And I think that basically tucks this one into bed. Good night, Ottawa. We are headed to a game seven. Whatever you guys did last game, just... Do that again. Oh, you're joking me. We're sick. Evans gets us on the board early. I think Spencer Knight's getting a little nervous over there. What are you, Jordan Bennington or something? one nothing after one. Shots are 15 to 9. Really like the way we're playing right now. That's a huge kill. Gave them a power play. And gave them a chance to get back in the game. But they don't need a power play for that, apparently. Let's chill for a second. I, I hope our coach took a timeout 
because we got to regroup. Oh, I don't like it. It's a one goal lead for the Sens heading into the third and final period. Maybe. I guess we could potentially go to overtime, so that's a little misleading. But anyway, yes? Come on! That was the longest power play of all time! And we couldn't capitalize. Now the Sens get one. They can't capitalize either. Two minutes to go! Oh, you're kidding me! There's your three stars of the game. I'm still very proud of the boys. They exceeded my expectations. So good on ya. The Broad Street Bullies winning the Stanley Cup. Where did they finish in the league? They were second in the league. So they almost won the Presidents and the Stanley Cup. They had Trevor playing with Panarin and Olafsson. Nick Backstrom, Smith, and Dewar. Logan Thompson and Pavel in net. Lindholm with Rasmus Anderson. Siegenthaler and Foot. They somehow built a super team. And honestly, looking at this, does not look like a super team to me. Personally. We just didn't get production in the playoffs. Robertson, four points. Same with Nylander and Kuznetsov. Krejci had three. And we had three from Faxa. boy. This man is blameless. We cannot say anything negative about Tristan. Almost a 940 save percentage. Obviously, Logan's at the top there, a 918. We got a 924 from Vitek and a 926 from Georgiev. Falk led defenseman with 19 points. Latang had 17. They both played 26 games because they both played for the Winnipeg Jets. That would make sense. And your Colin Smythe winner, Sasha Barkov, 30 points in 26 games. Just kidding. They didn't win the cup. That's how it works. In my mind, it should be Barkov. But it's probably going to be Panarin or Trevor. Team awards. And I'm going to look for any Florida Panthers logos while simultaneously looking for the Conn Smythe winner. It is, in fact, Trevor. Spencer, yeah, he did us in and just had a phenomenal year. No Florida logos, unfortunately. And there is your final playoff tree. At least the Stanley Cup Finals went to Game 7. So that is good for the fans. The virtual fans, I guess. So thank you for watching. If you have other draft ideas, be sure to leave them down below. And yeah, I appreciate you. Subscribe if you could. I mean, you could. All right, on that note, I will see you soon.